Page 18, Mysterious Cavern. It's a nice little piece. However, let's look it over. It's two pages long, traveling base cliff, no surfaces, flash in a key signature. You may not have had key signatures yet, so it doesn't matter. You do have accidentals, though. Watch out. And a 4-4 time. We've got eighth notes all over the place. I'm going to kind of take it both hands at the same time because most of the time the left hand either is just holding notes down or it's one hand at a time. So at the beginning the right hand has here put you in this position. The left hand has here and you're in this position. And we adjust for the accidentals. So the F sharp, I'm just going to come up here with an index here when I need it. That's all right. So it's one and two and. One and two and three and. Okay, now let's talk about this eighth note. I'm rotating here. I'm not holding the hand still. I'm trying to use the fingers to do this. Uh -uh. I'm going to pass the weight from one finger to the other. I'm just walking on the keyboard here. It's here to here. It's a very little motion. I exaggerate it so you can see it, but I am just passing weight. I'm letting weight push the notes down. That's all that is. I want to stay relaxed. As relaxed as possible. And then for measure three, you got to cross over to get that middle C. Second. You're not really changing hand positions. You're just coming over for that one note. Again, measure three, it's one and two and three and. And then measure five, the well, third line is the same as the first. And then the last line is similar to the second crossover. Okay, let's go to measure nine. We're still in this position, and we have F sharps on here. So in the left hand, I'm going to use the fourth finger on it, because fourth finger's on F, I'm going to use that. And the right hand, the index is on it, so I'm going to use that. So it's one and two and one and two and three and four and just eighth notes. One and two and three and four and measure twelve. That is an A and a B and then an E. Go back to what you were doing at the beginning. Now. Measure 15 and 16, this is the left hand, we've done this before. And then going on is just one and two and rest. The left hand is tied for the rest of the piece. You're just holding it down now forever. We're focusing on the right hand. During the rest, you're going to come up because in measure 18, it's the same notes, but you have an 8 v 8. So now we're up here. One and two and, like so. And then a two beat rest, and now we get the 15 MA again. Remember, that's two octaves from where it's written, not from where you're at. Where it's written, which would be up here. Up here. And all the time you're doing all that mess, the left hand's just sitting there, fat, dumb, and happy, and just okay, it's okay. So you go through and put the hands and rhythms together and all that junk, and then go back through and get rid of the hesitations. And we'll think about the articulation. We have accents on this. Okay, just give it a little extra, just play it a little louder. I have a little more weight on those notes, and very little weight on the little finger. And the left hand's in the background. And the left hand, lift, you have to lift up and then connect this. This is all slurred together. Lift up. Two no slurs. Down, up, down, up. Just separate. Some people will teach you play a staccato on the second. I don't. If they want a staccato, they can put it in. Just disconnect it. Yeah. Measure 12. into it. So that's pretty much the articulation. For the dynamics, it, it, most of it goes to the right hand, but like in measure three and four and all, that's melody, so that's it. You're loud, 
That makes the accent note a very loud note. I don't know that I would do that, but okay, that's what they wanted. Left hand's in the background. And here I'm just using a lot of weight, and I'm collapsing the wrist each time I'm on these accented notes. I'm collapsing the wrist. Don't tense up and get... Stay relaxed. You can collapse the wrist on that. A struggle with it, then don't play it loud. Play it mezzo loud, sort of loud. And the accent notes then can be loud. And moderately loud. Back here. Now measure nine, you're going to moderately soft, and you go, go back to moderately loud here. Right there. Don't get moderately loud to measure ten. you did it at the beginning, that's how you do a measure 13. Measure 15 is, well the pickup to measure 15, moderately loud. Now come, um, moderately soft. Now you're moderately loud in the right hand. Now moderately soft. And now moderately soft and slow down. And get soft. Here. I want you to have a handle on the dynamics, so we'll think about the speed. Now, I've been going way too fast. This is an andante. Andante is not slow. It's just a casual speed. It's a casual feel. So it's between the eighth notes here. And the quarter notes, like a major three. We don't want it to feel slow. We want it to drag. It's got to move a little bit, but not too fast. Just don't go too quick, though, because then the eighth notes are too quick. It's too fast, so you gotta. It's a combination. The quarter notes want to speed it up a little bit, and the eighth notes want to slow it down a little bit. And you have to kind of balance those out. Just a leisure pace. It's a range, it's not a set speed. Well, what's your metronome marking? Well, I don't have one because I play by feel. What does it feel right? Now on top of all that, they've added pedal. I like it without pedal myself, but they put it in here. Uh, okay, don't pedal anywhere they don't tell you to pedal, but they just want to mush all this together at the beginning. Okay, if that's what they want. Um, I don't care for it, but that's... That's what the composer apparently wants. So that's what we're going to do. At the beginning, I'm going to push the notes down first and then the pedal. I'm going to hold the pedal down until I play the first note in measure three. I'm going to connect it all. And now pedaling this. Again. Same thing. On page 19. We don't pedal until we get to measure 13. It's the same as the beginning. Okay. And then on measure 17, you push the pedal down right after you play the notes and hold it down all the way to the end. And slow down. Here. And then lift the pedal and everything at the same time at the end. That's their pedaling. That's what they want. Okay.
you can experiment with a pedal. It's like on measure six here. I'd like to hear the phrasing. If I do that, I would like to pedal with the left hand. The right hand stays it out. It's a half note. But and, and see, I lift the pedal there, and I, then I don't pedal this part. So again, to start measure six again, it's here. Here. But you lose all that other sound. Maybe you lose it too soon. You don't like that. You have to listen very carefully to the sound and the effect the pedal is having to decide what you're going to do. You know, the pedaling in the book is fine. Let's play this together very slowly. Double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, so just going to play the notes and the rhythms. I will do the accents. I'm not going to pedal it because you can hear the notes more clearly if I don't pedal it. So I'll give us four counts very slowly. One and two and ready and go and